Today on the Cardinal Sports Network, we bring you Boys Varsity Basketball as your Lawrence Cardinals take on the Blue Devils of Ewing. the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Gabe Mitchell White set to do the tip off for Lawrence. Ball's up and White sends the ball in the right direction. Shot is up, no good. That one's going to be tipped out of bounds. It's going to be Lawrence ball. Lawrence inbounds the ball. And it's going to be taken away by Ewing. Don't know a whole lot about this year's Ewing team. They've only played two games this season, where the Cardinals have already played seven. Ewing's got a record of one and one. Cardinals, a winning record of four and three. The two teams that Ewing's played so far, uh, Robbinsville uh, defeated Ewing. And Ewing was able to win over Allentown. Last five games Lawrence played, it's been win and loss for them as they won over Steiner, lost to Notre Dame, won over Hopewell Valley, lost to Burlington City, and won over Ocean Township. 
with that three-point jump shot. Ewing's going to pull ahead five to two over Lawrence. They had been tied at that point. Now that pass is going to be slapped out of bounds by Ewing. Lawrence gets the ball back. Lawrence inbounds the ball, and Gabriel Mitchell White goes up, gets the two points, and draws the foul. White will go to the line with the opportunity to tie the game back up. Shooting one. White puts it up, and we're all tied up here at the Cardinals next. Now Ewing brings the ball back into play. Now bring it across the center line and try to find a way in towards that Lawrence basket. Pass outside, oh, there's no one there to pass to. That one's going to bounce out of bounds. It'll be Lawrence ball. Ewing not making it easy for Lawrence to bring the ball toward their basket. And Adams puts it up for three. That one's off the rim, rebounded by Ewing. Ewing works it over towards the near side of the court. Back to the far side of the court. And to the near side. Now drive up the lane. Up for two. They'll get the basket and draw the foul. That's going to send Nair Preston to the line, shooting one for Ewing. Ewing currently up by two. Preston has a chance to make it a three-point game. Preston puts it up, and he sinks it. Barnes brings the ball back in. Now a long pass down the court. That pass is snagged by Ewing. No denying Lawrence the opportunity to tie it back up. Ewing passes it in toward the basket. Now back out to the top of the key. He drops back and resets. Now pass inside, back out. And that layup does not fall in the basket. It's rebounded by Ewing. Ewing passes it to the near side of the court. Middle now, three point attempt. That one's off the rim, rebounded by Lawrence. And that one gets away. It's going to be passed down the court to Ewing. Couldn't get it in, and Lawrence will get the rebound. Now, Lawrence looking for a breakaway here. Jump ball called. Possession arrow is going to go to Ewing. Ewing sends the ball in. Uh, working across to this side of the court. Back over to the far side of the court. That was going to be tipped out of bounds by Lawrence. Ewing ball. Ewing brings it back in. Off into the corner, looking for three. Off the rim. It's rebounded by Ewing. Shot is blocked, another shot blocked. Pass is picked off by Ewing, they'll get the ball back. And Ewing's going to get another chance to extend their lead. Pass off to the far corner. Dribble out, pass it to center. Over to this side. Sets. Now pass it into the near corner. No 
shot. Bring it over to the far side of the court. Back to the near side. Spin move, and he'll put that one up for two. Does not go in, and the rebound is by Lawrence. Lawrence looking to try and make something happen here. Pass over to the far side of the court. In the center, over to the near side. That one's tipped away by Ewing, and they'll steal the ball. Lawrence ends up with it, and they'll send it the other direction. There's a breakaway. That one does not go in and rebounded by Ewing. Ewing for two, off the rim, rebounded by Lawrence. And Lawrence is going to call a timeout. Coach Molinelli wants to have a word with the players and see if they can tie this thing up before the end of the quarter or perhaps even go into the lead. We'll be right back. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Well, the players will return to the court with two and a half minutes left on the clock. Ewing up by three. And Lawrence has the ball. Off to the corner, looking for the three. That one's off the rim, rebounded by Lawrence. White goes up for the shot, but is fouled. That one did not go in, but White will go to the line, shooting two for Lawrence. White will put the first one up, and in it goes. White will get a second shot. It's down to a two-point deficit. White puts it up, and he puts it in. So we're down to a one-point game. Now Ewing moving the ball around, trying to bring it towards that Lawrence basket. There's a long pass into the corner. Drive in toward the basket. And a foul's going to be called there. Puts it in. Now they're going to reset here, try and set something up. No play yet now. Drive inside. And they've been calling a foul on Lawrence again. This time, Ewing's going to bring the ball in under the basket. Ewing moving the ball across to the other side of the court. Pass back to center. Three point from the top of the key, and it's good. Score now 7 to 11. Ewing leading. Lawrence in possession of the ball. Now turns back and forth. Lawrence comes away with the ball. Kelly Alkeem, Alkeem to Ford. Ford into White, and White's fouled on the way. Apparently.
Apparently that wasn't on the way up. That was before the shot. So it just be an inbound pass for Lawrence. Into the corner. Ford tries for the three, can't get it. Rebounded by Akeem. Akeem sends it back over to Ford. Ford drives it in toward the basket. And he'll lay it up for two. Score now nine to 11. Ewing with the ball. Ewing with the drive in toward the basket. And up for two. He was going to steal the ball, tried to get a buzzer beater shot, but that was off the rim. So at the end of the first quarter, it's your Lawrence Cardinals nine and Ewing Blue Devils 13. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. So the teams will return to the court and Lawrence will inbound the ball for the start of the second quarter. White into Adamski. Adamski to Alkeem. Alkeem back to Adamski. Adamski's gonna drive in toward the basket. He tried to put it up, but got fouled on the way. So that will send Adamski to the line, shooting two for Lawrence. Get a chance to close up that gap a little bit towards the Ewing score. Adamski puts one up. That one's off the rim. He'll get another attempt. And Adamski lines up his shot. He'll put it up. And that one doesn't go in either, but it's rebounded by Lawrence. And a jump ball is going to be called after that scramble for possession. It's going to be Ewing ball. Ewing brings it in, and now they'll head across the court. Trying to extend their point line. There's a drive up toward the basket, layup does not connect, and it's rebounded by Lawrence. That pass does not go as intended. It's going to turn the ball back over to Ewing. Ewing brings it in, and now they're working their way toward that Lawrence basket. That was going to be out of bounds on Lawrence. Good attempted steal there by Robert Kelly. Sophomore on the team. Ewing puts it in. And moving it around, trying to find a hole in the Lawrence defense. Drive to the basket. That one doesn't go in, and Lawrence gets the rebound. The pass is picked off by Ewing. I'll send it the other direction, and that pass is picked off by Lawrence. Three-point attempt by Ford. In and out. Alkeem gets the rebound. Ewing takes it away. And they'll get the two-point lay.
Drive inside, pass back out. Now Keem over to White. White drives into the basket and he's fouled on the way up. And there's players all over the floor. No harm, but definitely a foul. That's going to send White to the line shooting two for Lawrence. White's been very good at the line today. He'll put the first one up. And I shouldn't have said that. That was in and out. White will get a second attempt. He puts it up. And it goes 0 for 2 at the line that time. It was surprising. Now Ewing headed the other direction with the ball. That pass goes out of bounds, and it'll be a Lawrence ball. Right over to Alkeem. Alkeem out to Kadamski. Kadamski goes up for the two, and he yanks it. side of the court. Inside. Can't get the shot off. I'll have to pass it back out. Now passed over to the near side of the court. Into the corner. Back out. Over to center. And over to the far side of the court. Pass inside, and he'll go up looking for the two, can't get it. Rebounded by Ewing. Put back doesn't work either. And I believe that's going to be called out of bounds on Ewing. Well, it looks like it's going to be a Ewing ball, not Lawrence. Ewing puts it in, and up for two. Michael Boisel into the game now, number 10 on the far side of the court. And Ewing will foul there. Ewing puts it in the backcourt there, and Boisel trots back to retrieve it. Over to Adamski. Now Boisel looking for the two. Couldn't get the shot off. Now Adamski puts it up. That one doesn't go in. It's rebounded by Ewing. Ewing looking for the three, and they sink it. That was only counted as a two-pointer. He must have had a toe on the line. But Coach Molinelli says it's time to have another chat. He'll bring the team over and see if he can get them headed the right direction. We'll be right back. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. So the Cardinals come back out onto the court, hopefully revitalized and full of Bunch of new ideas on how to get a few more points. White puts it into Boisel. Boisel's going to bring it up slowly. That pass is stolen by Ewing, and Ewing takes it down for a two point layup. Now Boisel once again heading toward the Lawrence the Ewing basket. 
Kelly. Kelly to Ford. Ford couldn't get the shot off. He'll fire it over to White. Almost taken away there. White recovers. Pass over to Ford. Ford looking for that three, and he sinks it. Now it's Ewing's turn to answer back. Into the corner, looking for three. Off the rim. That one's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be Ewing ball. Ewing inbounds it, pass is stolen by Boisel. Boisel takes it to the basket, he'll pass it over. And Alkeem tried to go up for that one, he got stuffed. And Boisel finally puts it in for two. Cardinals closing up a little bit on the Ewing Blue Devils. Ewing with a drive to the basket. That pass gets away and turned over to Lawrence. Lawrence get called for a travel. That will turn the ball back over to Ewing. Ewing brings the ball into play. Pass over to the far side of the court. Into the corner. That pass is going to be picked off by Ford, but he can't stay in bounds with it. Well, it's going to be Lawrence Ball. Must have been tipped out by Ewing. Inbound pass to Boisel. Boisel sends it over to Ford. Ford to White. White to Boisel. Boisel back over to Akeem. Akeem back to Ford. That pass almost got away there. Nice recovery by Alkeem. Boisel up for two, can't get it. Alkeem with the rebound. And that's gonna end up in the hands of Ewing. Ewing puts it up and in for two. Now Lawrence coming the other direction with the ball. Alkeem puts it up for two. Less than a minute left on the clock for this first half, and we're down to a five-point game. Ewing with the pass off to the near side. Far side, looking for the three, in and out. Rebounded by Lawrence. And Lawrence is gonna get called for the carry. And Coach Molinelli couldn't believe it. It'll be Ewing ball. Sends it deep. Ten seconds left in the quarter, and here's a drive toward the basket. That shot is blocked. Second attempt does not go in, but it looks like there's going to be a foul called on the play. It's going to send Kenny Rankin to the line, shooting two for Ewing. Rankin puts it up, in and out. Rankin will get another attempt. Rankin 
Hogan puts it up. That one's off the rim. Recovered by Ewing. And another foul get called against Lawrence. Ewing inbounds the ball. Tried to put it up for the buzzer beater, but no basket. So after one half of play, score now. Lawrence Cardinals 18, Ewing Blue Devils 23. We've got a five point game and another half to go. Stay tuned. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Well, both teams have had a chance to rest up a little bit during halftime. Let's see what the second half brings. Lawrence will be inbounding the ball for the start of the second half. And Kelly Alkeem comes over to inbound the ball, and send it into Boisel. Boisel over the four to the thought about the three. Thought better of it. He'll send it over to Kelly. Kelly back into Boisel. Boisel puts it up and in for two. First points of the second half are going to go to the Cardinals. It's a three point game. Now Ewing with the ball. Ewing going to drive in toward the basket and they'll go up for two. Coming the other direction with the ball. Pass is stolen by Ewing, and Ewing will take it to the basket and up for another two. Now Boisel will bring it across the center line. Pass over to Ford. Ford with a drive in toward the basket, and he'll get fouled. Actually, it looks like they're going to call him for the foul. It's going to be a uh, ball for Ewing. Ewing brings the ball in, and they'll bring it across the center court line. Now over to the near corner. Inside, up for another two. Coach Molinelli decides it's time to take a break and see what he can do to stem the tide of Ewing baskets. We'll be right back. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Now, both teams will return to the court for the continuation of the third period. It'll be Lawrence Ball. looking to answer back for that run of points that Ewing just had. Bozell over to Ford. Ford over to Kelly. Kelly back out to Ford. Ford back to Kelly. And Boisel is going to drive to the hoop and put it in for two. Ewing looking for the three, off the rim, rebounded by Ewing. No basket, but they'll be fouled on the way up. That's going to send Kelly Rankin to the line shooting two for Ewing. Rankin 
puts it up. That one does not connect, but he'll get another attempt. Franklin lines up his second shot. He'll put it up and off the rim, rebounded by Boise. Boisel over to Kelly. Ford puts it up for the three. It doesn't go in, but it's rebounded by Ewing. Ewing shot does not go in. Rebounded by Lawrence. Good pass down the court. Up for two goes Ford. It does not connect, but he'll be fouled on the way up. That's going to send Ford to the line, shooting two for Lawrence. Ford puts the first one up, and it's good. He'll get one more shot. Ford shooting his second shot. That's off the rim and rebounded by Ewing. That's going to be out of bounds on Ewing for Lawrence Ball. Ewing fires it over to the near side. Back over to the other side. Into the corner. Back out. looking for a way in toward that basket. And that's going to be stolen by Ewing. Ewing on the near side, into the near corner. Thought about the three, now back out again. Over to the far side of the court. Back to the near side. Now a drive up the lane, pass outside, and drive back in. That shot goes in and it draws the foul. That's going to send Nair Preston to the line, shooting one for Ewing. Preston puts it up. And that's in for another point. Lawrence fires it into the corner. Ford with the three-point attempt. And in it goes. Ewing back on the attack. Foul called on Lawrence. Ewing will inbound that from the end line. Ewing sends the ball back in. Now drive up and pass out. Three pointer falls a little short, and that's going to be rebounded by Lawrence. Now Lawrence on the offense. Three-point attempt by Ford, and it's good. A couple of three-pointers in a row there by Ford. That's going to be stolen by Lawrence. And Ford goes for another three and makes it. Three in a row for Ford. And now Ewing calls a timeout as we've got a tie game here at the Cardinals' nest. watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Timeouts are over. It's going to be Ewing ball. Ewing sends it in. Nice attempt at a steal there by Ford. Uh, 
That one is a completed steal by Brussels. Tied up at 32 apiece. Ewing brings it across the center line. That ball is stolen by Lawrence, but it's going to go out of bounds. Great attempt by Kelly there on the steal. Ewing brings the ball back in. Side of the court with the ball. Back over to center. Back to the near side. Pass inside. And that shot's going to be blocked. Rebounded by Lawrence. Still tied up 32 apiece. going to go against Ewing, I believe. It'll be a Lawrence ball. Coach Molinelli over there on the sidelines trying to get a word in. Lawrence will inbound the ball. Toward the basket. That one's going to be blocked on the way up, and Ewing gets the ball. Ewing puts it up for two off the rim, rebounded by Ewing. And Ewing will draw the foul. Let's go to send Kenny Rankin to the line shooting two for Ewing. Last time he was fouled, he went 0 for 2 at the line. Rankin with a chance to give Ewing the lead back. He'll put up the first shot off the rim. Rankin will get another try at that. Rankin shooting one. Rankin puts it up. And that one goes in and Ewing's back in the lead by one slim point. going to be called out on Lawrence. It'll be Ewing ball. Pass is stolen by Lawrence. Pass inside. Cross to the corner and Ford puts it up for a three. That one does not connect. Rebounded by Ewing. Ewing fires it down the court and it's a drive to the basket. That layup is a little too strong. And Lawrence will send it the other direction. Ford has the same problem. But I believe he was fouled on the way up. Yes, Ford will go to the line shooting two for Lawrence. Ford with a chance to give Lawrence the lead. Ford puts the first one up, in it goes, and we're tied up again, 33 apiece here at the Cardinals' Nest. With less than a minute left in the third quarter. 
Ford puts the second one up. In it goes, and the Cardinals take the lead by another slim margin, one point. Ewing brings the ball across. That was tipped away by Lawrence, but recovered by Ewing, looking for the three, and in it goes. Ewing takes the lead. Two-point lead for Ewing. Lawrence moving the ball around, trying to find a way into the basket. Pass over to the corner. Ford will bring that one back out. Heavy pressure, that was tipped away by Ewing. And Ewing will put it in for another two. Lawrence puts it up for the three, off the rim. And that will do it for the third quarter as Ewing has retaken the lead by four points. 34 to 38, the score here at the Cardinals Nest. We've got a very exciting basketball going on here and another quarter to go. Stay tuned. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Cardinal cheerleaders helping the crowd get into the spirit. And it's been a fun game here. Ewing has led much of this game, but in the third quarter, Lawrence Cardinals tied it up and even took the lead momentarily. Right at the very end of the quarter, Ewing was able to put in two baskets to take a four point lead. Cardinals looking to answer back and retake the lead in this game. It's been a very close one. Coach Molinelli over there giving some final words of advice to the team before sending them out for the final quarter of this game. And out they'll come. It's going to be Ewing Ball. I'm sorry, it's going to be Lawrence Ball. Team inbounds into Boisel. Now Boisel inside to Brussel. Brussel back out to Boisel. Boisel drives it in and gets the two pointer. Well, it looks like there may have been a call. After the fact there, against Boisel. Wow. Looks like Boisel's going to be called with a foul. And Ewing gets a couple of free throws. And there, Preston's at the line. He'll get a second shot. Up it goes. And in it goes. Preston goes two for two at the line. And it's going to be Ewing Ball. Ewing brings it in. Heavy pressure there from Lawrence. Shot is blocked, but it'll be out of bounds on Lawrence. Ewing ball. Ewing sends it in. Yeah, they'll take a moment to try and set something up. Pass over to the near side, inside. Drive. Under the basket, handoff, 
And the two-pointer is no good. The putback is no good. And I believe that's going to be called jump ball. Possession's going to go to Lawrence. And Boisel brings it across the center line. He'll drive in toward the basket. That one's tipped away and handed off to Ewing. Ewing brings it the other direction. Their two-point attempt doesn't fare much better. And now Lawrence with the rebound. That pass is blocked. Strong effort by Akeem to grab that one, but he'll go down, and it's going to be a Lawrence ball. Ford inbounds the ball. Over to Russell. Russell over to Alkeem. Back to Ford. Now inside to Russell. Russell up for two, and it goes in. We've got a two-point game. Lawrence with the full court press. Shot is blocked, and Lawrence gets the rebound. Good pass down the court. Layup is a little too strong, and it's going to be recovered by Ewing. Ewing looking for the three, and they'll get it. Lawrence slowing things down a little. Now fired across to Ford. Off in the corner for Brussels. Russell tied up in the corner and it's turned over to Ewing. Ewing gets the two. And Lawrence is going to call timeout. Cardinals trailing by seven. Coach Molinelli is going to take a moment here to try and get Lawrence back into this game. Stay tuned. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. So now both teams will return to the court. It's going to be Lawrence Ball. And now Keen will inbound the ball. Sends it into Boisel. Boisel working over the near side of the court. No. Back over to center. He's trying to drive his way in. And there's a foul called. It's going to be Lawrence Ball. Ford sends it in to White. White back over to Ford, back to White. Over to Ford. And over to Alkeem. That's going to be knocked out of bounds by Ewing. It'll be Lawrence Ball. Lawrence sends it in. And up for two. Plays it across the center line. Yeah, they'll hold things up. And trying to figure out what to do next, apparently. Here's a drive inside by Ewing. That one is tipped away by Lawrence, but recovered by Ewing. Ewing looking for the three. That one does not connect, and Lawrence will get the rebound. Stolen by Ewing. They tried to put it up for two, and that'll be rebounded by Lawrence. That shot does not connect. Ewing will get the rebound. Ewing on the breakaway. And up for two. Lawrence looking for three. That one's in and out. Rebounded by you. Ewing 
once again holding things up, waiting to try and put something together. Less than four minutes left on the clock, and they've got a seven point lead. They can afford to take their time and be cautious. Thought about the three, now just holding the ball, killing time again. Pass inside. Now rolls across the rim, rebounded by Lawrence. Oh, layup doesn't work, but the putback does. Lawrence gets two, we're down to a five point game with just about three minutes left on the clock. Ewing sends the ball forward. Stolen by Lawrence. Three point attempt, and in it goes. We're down to a two point game. Ewing with the ball. Now Ewing with a drive to the hoop, and they'll put it up for two. Back to a four point lead. Boisel with a drive toward the basket. He'll get fouled on the way up. The basket does not go in, but he'll go to the line shooting two. Considering how closely matched these two teams are, there have been relatively few fouls compared to what we've seen in some other games. Boisel puts it up, and that one bounces across the basket. He'll get another attempt. Boisel puts it up. That one's in and out and rebounded by Ewing. Ewing fires it down the sideline. That was stolen. Couldn't see what the call was on that one. Going to be Ewing ball. And timeout call. Two minutes left on the clock in eight seconds. Cardinals trail 45 to 49. Stay tuned for the conclusion of this exciting boys varsity basketball game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Now the teams will return to the court and it will be Ewing ball to restart the play. Ewing up by four and they'll have the ball. Ewing inbounds it but it gets away and Lawrence will get the ball. Now White brings it across the line. Be fouled. It's going to be Lawrence Ball. White inbounds the ball to Poizel. Boisel's going to take it all the way into the hoop. Couldn't get the basket, and it's rebounded by Ewing. That was stopped by Lawrence, but Ewing recovers. Now stolen by Lawrence. Good pass, and up for three. That one's off the rim. Jump ball. Possession arrow is going to give it to Ewing. Now Ewing brings it across the center line. That one gets away and it's going to turn the ball over to Lawrence. Uh, 
Barrett inbounds the ball. It'll be White over to Boisel. Boisel taking his time. Boisel with a drive to the basket. And he'll get called for a travel. That will turn the ball over to Ewing. Ewing inbounds it. He sends it over to the far side of the court. Now in the middle. And Boisel with the foul. Just trying to stop the clock at this point. Here he went inbound the ball from the sideline. Eventually. Here we go. Here he sends it in. And another foul by Lawrence. Ewing once again from the sideline. Inbound it. And Another foul by Lawrence. That's going to send there Preston to the line shooting for Ewing. Preston's been pretty good at the foul line today. Shooting one, and it's good. One and one, so he'll get another attempt. Preston puts it up, and that one's good for two. Preston two for two at the line. Coming up on 30 seconds left on the clock. And Boisel puts it in for two. Now Ewing breaks free. Here's a pass forward and back out. Lawrence with the foul. That's going to send Makai Gibson to the line shooting for Ewing. This will be one and one again. Gibson puts it up. That one's off the rim, rebounded by Lawrence. Now Lawrence up for another two. Seven seconds left on the clock. It's a two point game, and timeout has been called. Can't get much closer than this. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of this game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. So the teams will return to the court. Ewing with a two point lead and seven seconds left on the clock. Lawrence's strategy of fouling to stop the clock repeatedly has been working as they close up to two points. Looks like another timeout is going to be called. We'll delay this just a little bit further before we get the exciting conclusion of this game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. With just seven seconds left on the clock and a two point lead, Ewing just needs to kill seven seconds in order to get the win. See what they try. Here's the inbound pass, and Lawrence will foul immediately, stopping it with six seconds left on the clock. But that's going to send Kenny Rankin to the line, shooting two more. Well, one and one. Over 
Rankin has not had the best day at the foul line, although he's been very strong under the basket. And Ewing will call another timeout. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Now the teams will return to the court with six seconds left on the clock. Kenny Rankin will be shooting one of one. Rankin puts the first one up. And he sinks it. It's now a three-point game with six seconds left on the clock. Rankin with his second shot. Puts it up. And he'll go two for two at the line. Cardinals now trail by four. Three-point attempt off the rim. And that's going to do it. So at the end of this exciting boys varsity basketball, Lawrence versus Ewing, it's Lawrence Cardinals 49, Ewing Blue Devils 53. Thank you for tuning in to watch this game and thank you to Adam Delapaz for a working camera. Be sure to tune in again next time for more exciting Cardinal sports action on LTPS TV.